FIFA 07 for the Xbox 360 is a weird, weird game. And that is mainly because uh, they had to rush it out. This came out after the 360 launched and uh, yeah, they rushed the shit out of it. So the game, it doesn't have many features and well, you'll see what I mean by that. These are the amount of leaks they have. They have one, two, three, four, five. They have six leagues in this game. Literally six leagues in this game. The Prem, the Spanish League, the French League, the Mexican League, the Italian League, and the Bundesliga. All only top flights. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, if I, if I recall, yeah, Juve are in the second division. So I don't know. This game might just not have Juve in it. So I guess because Hull aren't in this game, I'm going to choose my favorite team as Tunisia. Let's see. The reviews, if you look at the reviews of this game, aren't crazy bad because of this reason only. And I'm not talking about the arena. I'm talking about this game looked really good uh, compared to what they were expecting before. It looks a bit rough now, but yeah, it looks good. And look, it has a style that I guess we still ha don't see in the FIFAs now, you know? A lot of people wish that the arena was back. And, you know, you got these camera angles on top, this grungier atmosphere that kind of follows the, the vibe that the, the, the game had. Why? And the first thing I'm noticing is, why is shooting so difficult? I'm playing as Ronaldinho, who should be like the highest rated player in the game. Shooting, I haven't scored once. Yeah, skill issue, I know. Like, what is that? <laughs> Smash it. Why is straight at the goalie? I turned Scottish. A lot of the controls that we had in FIFA 07 that I've literally just finished playing aren't in the game. No fake shot, no skill moves. A lot, a lot of stuff seems to be missing. Now I've turned the music off. The atmosphere's got creepy all of a sudden. She got the arena atmosphere. She's just like extractor fans. And you've just got a lot of people just sort of like watching. Watching Ronaldinho, like hands behind back or arms folded, you know? Not moving. I'm blinking. They're just in concrete blocks. There's no sofa. <laughs> There's a vending machine though. Okay, the vibe has got way creepier. But as you'll see, this is basically the menu structure that they go up to until FIFA 12. An ambulance just went past in game. But there are just so much. They're just not, <laughs> there's just not many game modes. So this game came out in October 2006 to coincide with the launch of the 360. They rushed it out rather than like postponing it and only bringing out FIFA 08 for the 360 or even just porting the old game over with the worst graphics. They wanted to get this out to be a showcase, and that's why a lot of stuff is missing. It's kind of funny, because the Champions League game, yes, I've got two of them. Um, that came out, that I've got a video of on this channel, the one with the first ever Ultimate Team. That came out a few months later, using this engine, and I, for all intents and purposes, is the version with the gameplay. I mean, you've got Ultimate Team, which is a massive you know, game mode compared to just having manager mode. And I can't imagine manager mode being that great because you've not got many leagues. When you go to manager mode and it doesn't tell you to create your manager, it just says what league do you want to be in? A bit of a, a bit of a red flag. I guess we'll be Blackburn because we just played against them. Mr. Manager is back. At least, hey, at least this game has a financial objective. Achieve at least 5% profit margin. We can do that. Oh God. They brought actual newspapers into this game. Was it the sun in the last one? I don't remember. But they've used all of their new graphics technology to just write more oh, on the newspapers. Genius. Wait, wait, okay. I want to read these. How do I read? Money for new staff. There are eight selectable staff positions you can upgrade. Not only will staff enhance your team's performance, but they can also help your job as a manager during negotiations by increasing their game home game attendance. Each staff upgrade has 10 levels. Okay, you need to stop yelling, help desk. Um, player growth. Okay, yeah, all right. The issue with all of this, right, though, is that uh, there aren't going to be that many players to sign, right? <laughs> What is my budget? 10,000 what? 10,000? What's my budget? All right, we'll just... Can I afford any other upgrade? I don't think I can. All right. Oh my God, so many more sponsors. Oof. They really put in the time into other stuff. Running per match. 
What is this currency? <laughs> the currency's gone from money to just units. <laughs> Populating transfer list. Well, we know who the first signing's gonna be, right? We know. It's 69 rated. He can't be that much. No. Okay, I was worried for a second. I thought these were the only two, like, features for manager mode. Next game will simulate. Okay. Fuck me, that got me scared. Let's look for a, a, a midfielder in the Americas. I'm actually more interested in doing a full career mode on this game. <laughs> Just because it's so fucking weird, man. All right, all right. Transfer central. Transfer market. They're trying to get rid of Paul Robinson? Didier Sakura? What's wrong with you guys? Okay, I was worried that I could only get players in the Prem. I was... Okay, okay, okay. I can get players in from, from the Bundesliga. Where is he? Where is he? Wait, I guess because this game came out later that if he moved... Okay, okay, he moved. Maybe, maybe... Maybe he moved, like, in the January. And then because the game came out later. Alright, 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 alright. Wait, no, this game came out in October. Where is he? Oh, maybe he moved... He might have, oh, he might have moved at the end of that transfer window. Where is he? Here he is. He's fucking, he's had a massive upgrade. 74 rated. My guy. My guy. <laughs> Let's just fucking go straight for the market value. Ask him for him for three years. See what happens. I have to wait, don't I? Until like, yeah, until the next game. Well, we'll skip the first, we'll simulate Portsmouth just because I want to know if I get a donkle or not. Fuck, we lost. Fine, once we have a donkle, the history will change. This is the whole Blackburn almost signing Lewandowski, but it's if they signed David Adonko. Player transfers plus, for, but I haven't sold anyone. I failed to sign Didier, uh, David Adonk. I can't want to say Didier. Uh, go to the neg negotiation issue for you deals. Okay. Why did I fail to sign Didier? Uh, David Adonk. Want to see more sincerity in the transfer fee? Hey, I offered you like the vibes. All right. I'll offer you 70 units, 70,000 units, guys. I'll offer you 70,000 units. Now we're gonna ask Man U. We're gonna just lose the next game, I guess. We did not. Pedersen scored. Fuck yeah. Wait, why was Man U four star? This was like their heyday. The window's closed. Window's closed. That's pissing me off. <laughs> if we can't sign him, we'll do it this way. But Juventus are their own league? <laughs> I like that. It's so dumb. Alright, we've added a Don Court to Blackburn. It's an alternate history where they played Harchester United, got absolutely thrashed. A Don Court did amazing, but then Harchester United went bust. And then a Don Court, not having a club, went to Batiste. And then Blackburn, seeing how good he was, got him from Batiste. He moved a lot that window. God, and this has one of my favorite types of team management systems that they they did they got rid of in later games but it tells you roughly what rating they play at if you like put them in the wrong position so if we move roberts to center back boom he's a 59 rated you know i fucking love that you know what it does have a full formation editor that's pretty nice oh i didn't remember seeing age in the last one Who, who's like the wonder kids of the game well, apart from like messi in that lot messi fabregas and aaron lennon the trifecta. Why is Messi's price cheaper than a donkle was? I'm so confused. Why is he cheaper than a donkle? So what? <laughs> Am I? Hi. I wish. Let's play a game. Oh, this is the bit I'm not looking forward to because that playing in the arena just for that small period of time. A bit worrying. Oh, checkered large. No, has it got circular? Oh, checkered circles. Yeah. Loading, please wait. Watch me score while I load. <laughs> if, you go, if I get really close. All right, get really close to the goalie. You got it. Do they have the flashbacks? No. Fucking three out of 10, mate. God, the game is so blurry now. But I can imagine this being like incredible when you play it. Like, is this real life? I'm assuming not because you couldn't in the um, 
because you couldn't in the uh, Champions League game. But yeah, there was no good cameras. What? The kickoff glitched me. Forgot there's no fake shot. The FIFA 07 for the players who had fake shot. When does it come back? But yeah, I remember it, uh, they didn't have it in the Champions League one, if I remember correctly as well. That threw me off as well. Mascareno? Javier Mascareno? Oh, God. What a save. What a pass! Why change character? What is the change player button? Why have they changed all of the buttons? This hand went through a harrowing time where they had to sell so many of their best players. Rio Ferdinand, Frank Lampard, Joe Cole. This might lead to something. Here's the shot. It's a marvelously struck shot. And it's two. Another thing that FIFA don't ever do is reference real life. That I do that. They used to. Oh, McCarthy. All right, is on target. Better than Ronaldinho. Morgan Gams Pedersen. Oh, a donkle almost with the debut goal there. Almost in inverted commas. Donko with the fucking industriousness. Get in! Donko with the assist, Pedersen with the goal. Beautiful pass. The net fucking bulging. Quite clearly a free kick. What do you mean quite clearly a free kick? What was clear about that as being a bad fucking tackle? Sorry. Get in! Two guy! Fuck yeah! No blame attached to the keeper there. It was a world class strike. I think you have seen the wrong goal. Adonko, run in! No! They still shot! I tried to cancel it! No! Adonko, man! Yeah, it's a shot, I guess. All right, end of game. Fucking call it, ref. Call it. Call it. Call it. Call it. Call it. Oh, he called it. He called it. All right. D Nation, man of the match. You know what? It's markedly worse than FIFA 07, but it was kind of fun. I think it's because, you know what? It was. It wasn't that fun. Like, a lot of the features in the game were missing. There's only five leagues. I, I don't know. Okay, we didn't sign Messi. Why didn't we sign Messi? What was wrong? I don't know. Maybe they should just skip to this FIFA and then go straight to FIFA 08. FIFA 08, I'm assuming, was way better for the 360. I didn't get on the 360 train until FIFA 10. Uh, so it was a couple of years off. Um, but this is the reason... So, it, there was always a bit of a rivalry around this era with Pez and with FIFA. Um, I think FIFA 07 is incredible, but that was Pez 6, and a lot of people really like Pez 6. Uh, and Pez sort of dominated until uh, the, it started to change around the FIFA 2008 Euros game, uh, which I've also done a video on when it started getting, the gameplay started getting deeper and Pez started to fall behind a bit. Um, and then FIFA 10, 11, 12, they, they took over. But this 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 certainly wouldn't have helped. Uh, like, this would have come out not long before, like, uh, Pez, maybe it was Pez 08 was the, the next Pez for the, is this, the this might have been the first Pez for the 360. Don't ask you. I, I every day I go to a charity shop and see what games they have and pick up whatever. I've got a lot now. 
Oh, the only reason I didn't sign Messi is because there aren't enough players in Barcelona. I, why I, Why is he the same price as a Donko? Anyway, FIFA 07 and FIFA 07. Yeah, the one for the PS2 is way better. Um, the vibe is immaculate. And I honestly don't think a football game has caught that vibe. There is maybe one exception uh, of like hitting this like, I want to say like indie, like heartfelt, like football for the fans rather than football for the corporations <laughs> which is sort of the vibe that a lot of the football games have now where it's sleek modern i prefer like the 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 vibes that remind me of like trundling over to fucking the dw stadium to watch holloway and having a pie in my hands and hearing people hurl obscenities <laughs> You know, that like real vibe that football has. FIFA 07 for the PS2 has that vibe. Uh, it sort of goes with the, the Xbox 360 version. And there's like no game modes or leagues or anything in the FIFA 07 for Xbox 360. Even the actual gameplay is so much worse. Yes, the graphics and physics and everything way more advanced, but the actual gameplay itself is not there. So if you want to play a F FIFA from this generation, I mean, you can either get FIFA 08, or you can get the Champions League version, which is the same season, but with m more leagues, which is crazy because it's the Champions League game has more leagues than the actual normal FIFA. And it has Ultimate Team, which is awesome. And if you don't know what I mean by that, yeah, again, I've got a video for that fucking promotion. <laughs> oh, the, and just before I go, I'm just going to sort of... Uh, you know, so I, I'm sorry I haven't made a video anytime recently. Uh, my life has got very, very busy between work and personal stuff. I'm trying to record whenever I can. Um, one thing that is kind of nice, though, that you guys might appreciate, which is um, every, like, pretty, most work lunches, I walk to the local charity shops, and being them charity shops, basically all of the video games they have are uh old football games so whenever i don't have an old whenever there's an old football game that you know i don't have i pick it up because they're like 50p <laughs> so if there's any football games you see here yeah i've got two champions league games we've been over this it's tragic is that if there's any football games that you want to see me play um I've, I, I, i'll find them i'll find them and i'll eventually make a video the one game that I've been wanting to play for a while, and I have it now, is the Let's Make a Fo Let's Make a Soccer Team. I think it's called. That was one of the first games that I got heavily recommended. So I feel like I should make a video on that. That would probably, maybe, maybe I should. Yeah, that would probably be my next video, maybe. But if anyone else has any recommendations, let me know. Um, as for that, it's been it's it's been it's been me. Uh, you catch me live occasionally on this channel or on Twitch. Um, or don't. And just wait for another football game to pop up and you go, ooh, let's, let's see what that video is about. Ooh, let's watch it. And then you see my face. You're like, oh, it's that guy again. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, all right. I'm, I'm just going to end. I've just, I've been waffling, man. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm really hungry as well. I'm going to get some Doritos. They don't even know.